The trade for today's video was picked from the book Fooling Some of the People All of the Time. Now, that book is essentially a 400-page explanation of Greenlight Capital's short position in a company called Allied Capital. However, as usual, I like to discuss trades that aren't often mentioned or popularized, so instead of talking about Allied, we will dissect another short position that Greenlight took in a company called Saram Capital. Now, before discussing the backstory of this trade, I just want to quickly point out to some viewers that Greenlight Capital is a hedge fund that was founded by David Einhorn in 1996. As of the making of this video, Greenlight has had some troubles in the market, but rest assured that David Einhorn is a brilliant hedge fund manager, and the lessons from his book are useful for anyone who wants to become a savvy trader or investor. But again, since many of you are already familiar with him, I will now move ahead. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy. I'm Nick, and this is Great Trades Revisited. Saram Capital was a business development company, or BDC for short, who engaged in making mezzanine loans for private companies. In the world of corporate financing, Mezzanine loans are senior to the equity in a company, but subordinate to the senior debt of the company. With regards to BDCs as a whole, they were formed by Congress as a way for small businesses to have more access to capital, as well as to receive professional management expertise. You see, BDCs advise small businesses and lend them money, and in return they collect interest on their loans along with fees. Another important thing to note is that BDCs are required to maintain 200% asset coverage on the debt they issue. This means that the assets being invested must be worth twice the amount of debt that the BDCs take on, which caps their ability to leverage. Saram Capital found a way around this safeguard by increasing their net asset value in order to increase their lending. But how did they do this? Well, the company raised equity at a sizable premium to their book value, and this in turn increased the company's net asset value, providing fresh capital to expand their lending activities. This became a cycle that allowed Saram to grow their earnings and dividends, which ultimately caused their stock price to appreciate. Now on the surface, Saram's SEC filings made their portfolio statistics look appealing, because rapid asset growth masked poor results in their lending activities. In order to dig deeper, Greenlight Capital built a database that tracked the cost and fair value of Saram's loans in each period. In tracking the loans by year of origination, Greenlight determined that roughly 40% of Saram's loans went bad from their date of inception to final maturity. Another important thing to note is that many mezzanine lenders receive free equity warrants, known as equity kickers, because the free warrants kick up the returns. Saram marked the loan and equity kickers separately for valuation purposes. From their database, Greenlight discovered that when trouble arose, Saram's management would mark down the equity kicker, but leave the loan at full value. Now, proper logic should dictate that when the equity kicker is marked down, the risk in the loan has increased making the loan less valuable as well. Saram's management did not account for this increased loan risk and kept the loans at full value until they determined that a loss was inevitable. Greenlight realized that the equity kicker write-downs would lead to initial loan write-downs and ultimately further write-downs until there was a final loss or write-off. To take a step back for a second, this should not have happened if Saram was marking its portfolio fairly. In other words, markets are very good at discounting news and information, and this causes security prices to fluctuate until they reach a price at which future returns are positive. This means that Saram's initial write-downs should not have led to further write-downs. The only explanation was that management was slow to fully acknowledge bad news. Another red flag for Saram could be seen in the auditor reports. In Arthur Anderson's 1996 audit opinion, they stated, 
We've reviewed the procedures used by the board of directors in arriving at its estimate of value of such investments and have inspected underlying documentation. And in the circumstances, we believe the procedures are reasonable and the documentation appropriate. That sentence was removed in the 1997 audit letter. Due to these reasons, Greenlight took a short position in the company. In July 1998, Saram announced disappointing quarterly results, with two bad loans losing around $10 million, or about $0.25 cents per share. The shares fell from $32 in May 1998 to around $15 in July. Greenlight covered their short position at $10 a share, just before the shares collapsed to under $3 a share in October 1998. Unfortunately, I could not find any information regarding the number of shares that Greenlight shorted or the entry price of their short, but if we assume that Greenlight shorted even below the May 1998 high of $32 at, say, $25 per share, they would have made close to a 60% return when they covered at $10 per share. Now, this figure may be understated, so if you have any additional information, please reply below in the comments. Again, thank you to everyone who made it through this video, and as always, liking and subscribing are never expected but always appreciated. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.